What is going on? Gunners Live coming up with another GTA 5 racing video from the Cunny Stunt update. Started in the poll, but as I have been doing in my past two GTA racing videos, I'm going to drop to the back of the pack in order to challenge myself to come back and win the race. Now, if you haven't seen my past, previous, most recent GTA video, I did buy the RE7B and fully customize it into the car that I'm in right now. This thing is amazing, very fast, and hopefully I can come back and win the race. As long as I don't jump too far right here and go off the track, okay. With that being said though, this thing has an amazing top speed and it also has amazing handling while on the track. So since this is a supercar race, and also this track has quite a few straightaways along with turns. The RE7B is an optimal choice for your boy to drive in order to hopefully win the race. Now this is a two lap race, that's what the host set it up to by default. I don't know if catch up is on or slipstream. I can assume that, well I, not assume, I know that custom vehicle is on obviously because I'm in a custom vehicle, but what I was going to say is that I assume that catch up and slipstream are probably on since those are usually on by default. Anyways, I've already moved all the way up into second place. Looks like first place is in a T20 directly in front of me. So I'm just going to coast behind them here throughout these turns and then use a little bit of the slipstream to pass them on the straightaway. So now I can confirm that slipstream is on. Looks like that dude coming the other direction was actually trying to run directly into us. Play a little bit of chicken. We all survived with this T20 in front of me, so it's doing a little blocking so far in the race, and I'm gonna have to get past him, dude. You're gonna try to block me? Like, I didn't spin you out on purpose. Maybe you shouldn't just try to block me. But with that being said, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I don't also have a fantastic day so far. It is raining a little bit outside, but it's not a big deal. Didn't really have any outside activities planned for the day. Obviously, if you've seen some of my recent videos where I do show my dogs, I'm gonna take the dogs on a walk later tonight. Sure, there will be some rolls in the rain where we can make that happen. And on a side note, my fantasy football team is going off today. I'm finally going to get my first win of the season. So after week three, I'm going to be one and two, which is good because I know that I drafted a few players that were either injured or suspended or both. So my first three weeks of the season, I didn't really expect to get a win, but it's actually kind of cool that I am going to get a win this week. So next week, when all of my players are hopefully healthy and able to play, I can put up a lot of points and just win from here on out in the fantasy season that I am in. Back to this race now, I'm going to go ahead and lead the first lap. I have a to lead right now. If you look at the time, I am ahead by four seconds. Remember, I did start in the hole to drop back to the back of the pack. Let's see if I can set a new fastest lap time here on this track. If I think, I think catch up may be on because it's usually on by default. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to set a new fastest pace because I know that I have been this race a few times since I've gotten this far when catch up wasn't on and I have led the laps, led the lap. Been in the lead at the beginning of a lap, so nobody's in front of me trying to crash me or anything like that. So I don't know if I'm going to get a new fast lap time here or not. I am going to go ahead and try my best though. But tonight I'm going to be live streaming probably some Black Ops 3 for sure game battles with me, my brother, and two of my friends. And then I'm actually downloading H1G1 at the moment, so I might play that a little bit in the live stream later tonight as well. If you don't know what H1G1 is, basically it is a first person shooter for you along with over 100 people parachute down onto a map and then it's basically survival of the fish, right? Last person alive gets the win. So the game's been out for a little over a year now and I've been thinking about getting it for the longest time today. I was finally like, you know what? Let's go ahead and download this game and you'll be expecting or you should be expecting to see some H1Z1 videos here later on this week because I might even make like my very first game of it into a video just to see how good or how bad I am. Because typically like PC games, Minecraft, Counter-Strike, stuff like that, I'm not as good as I am with Xbox games just because I'm not used to the keyboard and mouse controls for the game. I know a lot of people say that keyboards and mouses, they allow you to be better at the game just because you don't have to worry about like, the thumbsticks and stuff like that on a controller. So at least for me right now, that's not the case. Maybe I play some H1G1 and do get better at the game over time. I get more used to the PC controls as far as Xbox, as far as the keyboard, pardon me, not Xbox, as far as the keyboard and mouse are concerned. Looks like that dude right there was actually going to try to crash me, and I just jumped over him. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> He's actually chasing me right now. Definitely not going to catch me because it's the two lap race and I am near the finish. But that's pretty much going to wrap up everything I have to say in this video. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm finally going to win a game of fantasy football 
and I will be live streaming again tonight. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Really good to see you on my channel. I'm going to go live. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the live stream tonight for another video. Somebody to play, yeah. Take my song, put it on they play, and get goosebumps every time they play it. Wait, it's